can't believe it was three years ago. Adam Smith, uh, you've joined us. A welcome break, I'm sure, from homeschooling for you joining us today. Um, it really was a <laughs> night to remember. What are your memories from that night? Yes, Anna, we've been reliving it all week. Uh, it was a phenomenal night. Um, I think all the stars aligned uh, at Wembley. The huge crowd of 90,000, I think every single person went home having the most incredible, uh, you know, atmosphere experience and uh, what a fight. You know, we had a perfect build up. There was huge respect between the two. It was uh, it was wonderfully dealt with and uh, so much anticipation beforehand. You know, Joshua's 27, Klitschko 41, but still in phenomenal condition. And, you know, the fight lived up to it. Often you get the hype, but actually the, the battle was one for the ages, wasn't it? One of the great heavyweight scraps of all time. It was a, a fantastic sort of event from start to finish. And, uh, yeah, my memories are just, uh, I think, of, of maybe in, in a quarter of a century of working for Sky and, being, you know, fights all around the world. And there's been some amazing memories. But I think that was one three years ago that's probably top of the list. It was uh, it was fabulous, Anna, and I think we all uh, we all got something for it, including Vladimir Klitschko, who went out, you know, in such a great way, didn't he? With so much dignity and respect, the way he spoke afterwards, and for AJ, it was uh, superstardom then. Eddie, we, we couldn't see your face on screen while we were watching that VT, but you had a huge smile across your face, and we heard you say, "Epic!" It was, uh, as you say, an epic night. Ninety thousand fans at Wembley. Do you think we'll see that again? We will see that again, for sure. But, you know, I think this has been a period of reflection, hasn't it, for all of us. And you start to realise how sometimes in life you take things for granted and sometimes you might not appreciate things as much as you should do at the time. I never try and, you know, I always try and tell myself that things aren't good enough, you know, in, in our work, in our shows, in our promotion. It, it kind of drives me on. But when you look back at that, there's two things that I think. Number one is I'd do anything to live that again. And number three, number two rather, is if I never promoted another show again, I would have to be a happy man having done that event. Because when I watch the clips back this week, you know, and, and there's so much footage that emerges, you know, from Sky. Even now, there's angles that I've never seen before, you know. And watching the ring walks, the fireworks, the experience, press conference it was it was it was absolutely everything you could dream of as a promoter as a fan as a, you know for broadcasters it had everything and the fight itself you know fights really only get remembered through history now, at the time people say great fight and a year after three years after you say oh do you remember that night but it's only over the history of time 10 years 20 years 50 years that you look back on moments and say that was one of the greatest fights of all time and that was one of the greatest heavyweight fights of all time we need to move on and talk about Gillian White he was due to face uh, Bovetkin that was this weekend in Manchester he was due to face him what's the latest on that he said he'll even fight in a car park if he has to yeah, so, you know, this, this comes back to our conversations earlier with the British Boxing Board of Control a lot of people think that a lot of people think it's going to be difficult for these bigger fights to, to happen behind closed doors. I can tell you that White and Povetkin is one of those fights that we are planning to stay in the early part of the return. It will take place behind closed doors. And, you know, Dillian wasn't joking about fighting in a car park. I can confirm it won't be in a car park. <laughs> but it will be behind closed doors. I don't know how we're going to do it yet, but we'll do it. We have to come back with a bang. And White Povetkin is a fight, along with Taylor Serrano, that I believe we will see probably in the end at the end of July or very early August. All right. Okay. Well, next week we're joined by a trailblazer and a great fighter. Of course, it is the notoriously publicity shy Katie Taylor who should be speaking to us next week from a Connecticut training camp in an exclusive interview. Very much looking forward to having her on the show and finding out how things are going for her. Also joining us will be Andy Lee and Matt Macklin. It'll be a bit like an Irish takeover, won't it? Very much looking forward to that. Sky Sports main event in Sky Sports News for that on two o'clock. Uh, Eddie, just a quick word on AT, um, Kate, Kate Taylor. Uh, she was due to fight Amanda Serrano, wasn't she, in a massive fight. That is a huge fight ahead of us. It's the biggest fight in women's boxing. You know, I think, again, over this period, I've been looking back at a lot of footage and clips and moments. And I think looking at the 
achievements of Katie Taylor, looking at the growth of women's boxing. You know, it's incredible. I remember when we when we put our first show on, a first fight at Wembley Stadium. People were almost questioning the fact that we were even putting on a four, three, a four, two minute round, you know, female fight. Now we're having undisputed female fights that are selling out their own stadiums. You know, we've got consistent female fights on all our cards. And I'll say again, forget male, forget female. It's about fighting. It's about entertainment. And she is pound for pound one of the biggest superstars in the sport. Taylor Serrano is a massive guy, and I'm going to try and make that happen on the White Pervecting card somehow, somewhere, some way. Well, we'd love to see that. Thank you very much both for joining us this week and, of course, the rest of the guests. Don't forget to uh, watch the Potico podcast and, of course, my doing the rounds as well. But if not, stay safe, stay well, and we'll hopefully see you again next Friday at 2 o'clock. See you then. <laughs>